friends. We want to share a fun story with you about a thing that happened to us last week that seasoned us a little bit to Maui. <laughs> we love that Maui doesn't have snakes. I'll start off with that. That's That was a perk for us when we thought oh, about predators. no land animals that like were no lions. like gonna hurt us because he's from South Africa. There's all kinds of animals there and Florida has all kinds of animals there and we were just very refreshed with the fact that on land there were no animals that were gonna harm us. But we had an interesting encounter last week that we want to share with you. We still adore Maui, sincerely, with all of our hearts. Without fur further ado, we want to share the story with you <laughs> and start off by saying that remind you to like and subscribe videos if you like them. Don't like them if you don't, and that's okay too. <laughs> but help us out a little bit by liking and subscribing, sharing our channel with a friend, we are in a growth season and process and it takes a lot of work and we are um, in the vulnerable process of putting ourselves out there again all about it. <clears throat> it takes hard work and we're in it. So we woke up at four o'clock on Thursday morning to Luca, our four-year-old, crying but she, it was kind of a whimper. Oh my nose, like my nose is burning. My cheeks, my cheeks hurt. The the whimpering kind of increases and then you realize, okay, wait, something's off here. She was sleeping in our bed. She had she was sleeping crawled in into our bed. Our bed. Yeah, her she, bed's at the end of our bed. So she eventually turned the light on and we look and we notice like a little, like a, it looked like a bug bite or something, like a spider bite or... So then she was rubbing her cheek and she was like, my cheek hurts, my cheek is burning. I remember saying to her, it's all right, come here. Like, and I just snuggled with her and we live in uh, upcountry Maui. So it's cold at night, the windows were open. So I'm like, maybe the wind is like blowing on her face and up her nose and it's cold. So I get up and close the window and then he turns on the light, thank God. We didn't see anything. Maybe we thought it was maybe some kind of a bug that, that but, uh, I didn't think and, that, but, or at least that's what I yeah. thought and then we didn't see anything in the room so now we're on the bed and we're trying to get it to calm down and we are about to just go back to bed because we, we're like barely awake still at this point I sense in my heart to to I just have this impression look under your pillow <laughs> so I look under my pillow and won't there be a freaking centipede <laughs> This gnarly alien looking thing right under my pillow, just waiting for seconds. I see the thing and I kind of, I panic a little bit because I'm not used to centipedes. I've only seen them here in Maui, but yeah, like, they just run away quick. They're like, you know, under a rock or something. Well, this one didn't run away. That was part of yeah. what kind of yeah. freaked me out. This one was like, he's like, I'm not going anywhere. It's nice and warm under your pillow. You yeah. know, I'm chilling. The ones that have a little red sting and they hurt super bad and for the weeks. sting can last for like weeks we googled it and then afterwards found that it could last for weeks so we just weren't super familiar with centipedes and then it's like middle of the night he had seen it i didn't even see it yet i was like so i didn't luca. i didn't want luca to see what i saw so i didn't say anything i saw it and then i went to go grab something to kill it so i first grabbed my bed slippers and then i realized look i need something more powerful so i grabbed her shoes and I had a shoe in each hand. And I literally, behind the frame of the headboard thingy, I went to push this thing. And let me tell you, I was pushing down like <laughs> as hard as I could. And this thing was still squirming. Like if you normally press something that hard, it just it goes flat. But this thing was still squirming around and moving. So they had this like shield on their back. Guts was like dripping down the wall of this thing. And all the while I'm trying to not make a big deal of it because I don't want her to see what I'm doing. I don't want her to freak out and go back to bed with us in her mind. And Ashley saw what it was. We were trying to shield her a bit and just, you know, cover her. We didn't fully, I didn't know what it was. He was like, <laughs> can you say hi? <laughs> he was cueing me to, distract her so that he could kill it and then i look over and i just saw like the legs out from the Ooh. shoe and i'm like oh my gosh is that what i think it is and then i'm just focusing on comforting this little sweetie and feeling like oh my gosh like did something sincerely like bite her and what's going on then i'm see? like wide awake 
and so yeah. you can still see i mean you probably can't see but on her nose yeah on like, her nose with two on her nose like that all right honey do you want to do you want to tell them what yeah. happened you were sleeping and then you woke up right mm -hmm. and then what did it feel like it feels like a bite like a, a bite, bite. Oh, and then did he tickle you no you're so brave then what happened Talk louder. And then, and then I, I, I didn't even know Look what there. it is, so... You didn't know what it was, so... Go ahead. So, I just... I so you cried a little bit because it was scary, right? Oh, honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, we... Uh, then we went online and looked how to we treat a centipede yeah. bite. And we gave a, like a, what's it, pain reliever or something? Yeah, I put, Ice. I put like a lavender salve on it, which I'm swearing by right now. And then um, a calendula, like cream. And then I gave her some herbal wellness pain and fever as well. To, and so this was a, the biggest part of the story because typically it lasts. Like the pain can be so painful, we've heard now even more and it can last for like weeks the pain and she literally the next day was 100 percent better yeah. and only had the two little dots and she and was swelling. like yeah it doesn't really hurt at all and there was no like big swelling redness or super painful we're so grateful because like invasive would be the word i think would would be the word i would use like invasive it's in yeah. your bed it's your baby you're not used to that you're too, at all. you know like it's under your pillow and then, you know, from what we've heard too, it's like they're normally, they normally come in with the rain and then beds are not unlikely to be a place that they hang out. So it felt definitely invasive. And then afterwards we had to process it because it did feel like it was like a minor trauma. And then, oh great, every time we were gonna go to bed now, we're gonna think about like one being yeah. in our bed and under our pillow. So, you know, we've learned with trauma, like the more you talk about something with other people, safe people. We don't just talk about things with everybody. I mean, here we are making a video, but you go through things talking about your trauma, literally moves it in the brain to another part of the brain and helps move it out of your body. And so finding those people that you're able to connect with, you know, chat with, get it out with, stuff that's really intense. This wasn't as intense, obviously, and some stuff we don't share because we like want to shield our kids and we don't want to talk about stuff publicly or even with friends. But this thing was like, okay, let's, process it out you shared it with some of your guys i shared it with some girls well we i think it just to... was especially weird because it was at four in the morning and so when you're waking up to the cry of your child which is not abnormal at all but then you don't know why she's crying why there's like a mark on her nose yeah. and you're half asleep and you're yeah. still in the state of like unconsciousness almost and then you go from that state to seeing this alien like thing you no know, it was this thing that put its fangs whatever the heck those things Oof. are in your daughter's nose yes and then the adrenaline just like yeah like, <laughs> for me it was just like <laughs> i switched on like instantly <laughs> yeah, grab the does, shoes can't fall back to sleep grab the shoes and i just started murdering this thing yeah that didn't want to be murdered it was like a wrestling match so then trauma is a shock to the system and if you don't regulate that shock it keeps you out of whack the mm -hmm. shock mm -hmm. keeps you in a state of um, shock, Unregulated. I suppose, on some yeah. level. Like a couple of days after that, it felt like this. Wait, what happened? Wow, that was weird. Like for her too, we yeah, could tell. Like too, you know, we so. tried to really shield her in the moment. I didn't even want her to see him killing it. And we at first were like, do we even like talk, tell her what it was? She didn't even know what it was that had bit her. But the more with our kids, like good to talk about it, good to process it, good to, for sure, like open communication help them to not feel like there's this like, shameful thing or something they have to hide. Um, you know, obviously depending on the context, but anyways, we wanted to share that with you. We still will take a centipede over a snake any over day. Over a python or a rattlesnake? Over a biting snake that yeah. can be poisonous or just a snake. I will take a centipede any day. And over the black mamba. Yes. So anyways. Oh, by the guys. way, the best way to kill them, come to find out is that you cut them. Oh, you cut their head off. You yeah. cut their head off. It was fun. Anyways, anyway, we still love you, Maui. Up. All right, guys. Bye. Ciao.